Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening if you're watching this late at night. This video is uh, the fast version of how to make a work cited very quickly. And we're going to do this one where we start from scratch. You could also start with a template. Okay, here we go. So first of all, I'm going to open up Microsoft Word. Starting from a template like this is where you start with something already done, and you would simply uh, change Lisa Simpson's name to your name, change the date to the correct date, change the block to the correct block, and then delete and add into this one. I will probably also show you how to do a template version at the very end of this one, but for the start we're going to go with creating a works cited from scratch. All right, so Microsoft has some default settings that we're going to have to change, and we're starting from scratch. But first of all, we're going to paste some stuff in here and do our name. So we're going to go with Lisa Simpson block um, H, and we are going to say it is January um, 17th, 2023. We'll add a comma there. And then we'll, oops, hit a return. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to type in the title works cited. I'm going to hit a return and I'm going to format this over here really fast. I'm going to go to paragraph formatting. I'm going to go to spacing and I'm going to start with fixing my spacing down to zero after, which is the default setting. It was set to something like six or eight. And then I'm going to change the thing to exactly double spacing. Then I've got those things fixed. Next, uh, I'm going to click this button to put that in the center. And then I'm going to go over here, format paragraph, move that to the right with this button. If I'm going really fast, you can always rewind and pause and rewatch this video. But this is the fast version. Next, I've got the basic set up here, so I'm going to minimize that, make that a little smaller, and then I'm going to go find my sources. So say if I've got this source where I've got um, this website here, which is about Ahsoka the Great. This is going to be uh, the title of my article, and Joshua J. Mark is going to be the author, and I've got the date there. Um, Worldhistory.org is the, the uh, website and if I scroll down to the bottom I can find extra information about uh, the website I'm using. The World History Encyclopedia is a logo a registered trademark. World History Publishing so that would be the name of the publisher. All right we'll go back up here Mark comma Joshua Joshua is the author okay here we go um, now I'm gonna put in the next source we're going to find it here now this one they have a button here you can click cite and it gives you the information here in MLA style we'll copy that We'll go back here to our document, and we may have a slight variation between MLA styles, MLA 8, 9, and 7. Um, we also need the URL from this one for our first source. Now we've got the URL. Now we, we're going to do the book. And we're going to do cranny, comma, Michael Pathways Civilizations Through Time. And this one, this book is published by Prentice Hall, and the date in this book book is 1998 Prentice Hall publishing 20 no 1998 now there are a couple errors I'm going to have to fix but I'm going to show you 
Um, the basics, Prentice Hall Inc. We're just gonna double check that and put that to comma. Inc. is what it's got here on the page in the textbook. All right, so alphabetical order is the first error we need to fix here. And then we're going to have to check the formatting. Okay, so we don't have the right font. So we need to go here and switch it all to Times New Roman 12 point font. Then we need to take the works cited part of it and add the hanging indent under par format paragraph. We're going to go here and go hanging indent 1.5 centimeters and then we've got the hanging indent. Then we're going to see something's gone wrong here. Um, we don't, we've got that twice. So we got C, M, S in alphabetical order. We've got three sources. Now we have to add italics to a couple spots. The titles of a book should be in italics here with this I. The title of the website or container should be in italics. So a container is a book, a container is a website. And this one's got the italics there. And we've got our quotations around the article. So we have got the basic rules done. Going over the rules, we've got it double spaced exactly. Um, and we did the double spacing under format paragraph here. We got rid of extra spacing here. We got the hanging indent done here for the body, but not the title. We put the title in the center. We put the name on the right. It could be on the left, but if you have to staple it, that can be a problem. Um, and we've got a book and two websites about our research. Now, I was going to show you if you were to do this into something where you have a template. I'm going to show you how to do that now as a bonus thing. So we're going to minus this one. We're going to open our template here. And then we're going to go to um, our source here, which is uh, Encyclopedia Britannica, where we can just copy the citation information from that one. Then if we're going to where we have a template, I like to make a return just to have um, an extra space. I should show you that you can also remove hyperlink, which is something you should do for correct formatting. And now I'm going to right click to form paste in and it should give me op options. Now it's not giving me all the options I want. I want one that merges formatting. If it's available, I would choose merge formatting, but I'm just going to uh, do it that way so that it comes in with the correct formatting. I notice this is in dark gray, not black. So in order to fix it to black, I'm going to do that. I notice that I lost the formatting of the italics here when I pasted it in. If you can merge formatting, you may not lose the italics. So now I've added that one, pasting it into here, and I have pasted in only the text uh, because I wanted it to have the formatting of my template show up, and that's how I did it. Now I'm going to show you if I was to paste it into here, um, where I just go right click and I and I uh, click oh it doesn't give me any options here okay the only gonna do is I'm gonna go control V then to paste it in and I've lost the formatting okay so I'm not coming with any formatting from that source so that's why I can't show you that so what I'm gonna do then to show you if you have a uh, formatting from another place is I'm gonna get the one that we've been working on over here first of all I'm gonna remove the hyperlinks and show you how to do that. Right click, click remove hyperlink. Then I'm going to format this incorrectly. Let's say, uh, let's go with very incorrect with comic. Okay, we've got it formatted in comic. Then we're going to grab this one, we're going to copy it, and then we're going to try pasting it into this one uh, when it's formatted the wrong way. Now I'm going to remove that hyperlink that I just created, and now I'm going to go right click, and now I've got different options. So now I can choose how I'm going to paste it in. And with these different paste options, I'm going to choose merge formatting and I don't get the wrong formatting. Now I'm going to go control Z and then I'm going to go control V. And if I could do control V, I get the incorrect formatting. So that's how you can get the correct formatting when you're pasting into a template or a work in progress. All right. Thank you very much for your time. This video has gone a little bit longer than I wanted for the fast video, but thank you very much for your attention.